Okay, so I am so excited to be here today with the beautiful Cheryl Himberg. Cheryl Himberg is an executive coach, an incredible warrior woman who has gone through so much, and I'm so excited to share um, her story. She also is a graduate of the Yes Supply Method. Uh, a few years ago, was that in 2020 you graduated, or yeah. 2020. Yeah. Uh, so there's a lot going on in the world around then. And then you've also been through my manifest money for good mastermind as well, and have had some incredible, um, abundance wins as well. So I'm just so excited to speak with you and have you share your story, um, to just inspire our community and help them see what's possible. So I'm just going to hand it right over to you, Cheryl, and just let you introduce yourself and share who you are. Okay, so I'm Cheryl Hamburg, and I, um, like you said, in in uh, my profession, I work now as an executive coach and work with teams, and I focus mostly with working with women and empowering women. Um, but I spent 15 years in the corporate world, and it was exciting. It was. Um, dynamic. My last corporate gig was BlackBerry. So like 24,000 people to 3,000 people there through it all. And when I was done there, I was really asking myself, what do I want to be when I grow up? (laughs) And really, I wanted to create spaces for women to explore their leadership, their goals, their success, life by design, um, in, in a space that was really brave for them and that they could get support and resources and tools to actually have that deeper impact, um, the long lasting impact versus just kind of like band-aids, you know, Mm -hmm. on an issue and, and, um, you know, just carrying on in the same loops. And then I found you (laughs) and I say my whole world changed, Uh um, because you have, you've had such a deep impact on me. And really everything I've learned in through Yes Supply, you know, like I use it daily, like personally and professionally. Um, Me too. I think, yeah, like it's it's almost hard to explain sometimes to people when um, I use the example. I mean, you can put a trigger warning in uh, for this as well, but in my late teens, I experienced a trauma. I was sexually assaulted and that really shifted my inner dialogue. And I went from feeling, you know, well, as confident as you can as a teenage girl, um, to really viewing myself as damaged and as really no self-esteem, like not just low self-esteem, like no self-esteem and just feeling that I wasn't deserving of anything good or happiness. And I would self-sabotage a lot. Looking back on it now, I know it was self-sabotage at the time. I didn't realize that. And I did a lot of talk therapy and I still do talk therapy at times. Right. Um, But what I found was it, it was keeping me in a cycle and I wasn't really moving forward, but I also didn't understand mindset. I didn't understand, you know, like subconscious patterning and, and our thinking and how our thinking leads to our actions, which leads to our results. And so I kind of strong armed through stuff, through bad relationships and toxic friendships and just constantly in this loop. And, you know, I was achieving success, um, before, you know, we connected, but I, but I will say, I think the personally, the thing that I've gained the deepest from the work that I did in through the yes supply method is releasing kind of those traumas in a really true way and building, um, a relationship with myself. Can I swear on this? (laughs) <laughs> it's like really I say to people it's like building an unfuckwithable confidence in myself like people ask me what are you most proud of I'm most proud of the relationship I have with me beautiful today. I love that and I'm that's jealous. really from those tools in that I love that that I literally just have I'm feeling chills because yeah I think a lot of 
women and a lot of successful women, we create success, but sometimes it's from like a place of fight or flight, or it's like, I know for a long time too, I would be like scrounging to get by and make money, but it's because I didn't want to go back to where I was before. It's not from a place of expression. It's not from feminine energy. It's not from joy. It's from like scarcity. Um, And what I found, I know what you found too, is making those internal shifts on the subconscious program. It allows us to create success, but not from scraping by, from actually just standing in our power and attracting the success. Yeah. I was actually um, a little mad when I came across you. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm excited to hear the story. <laughs> you, I was actually... Um, Psst. Do you ever worry that your client's going to ask for a refund because you don't really know what you're doing in your coaching sessions? I've created a free masterclass and workbook just for you that will help you plan out a 60 or 90 minute coaching session based on coaching on the subconscious mind. You'll know how to prepare your energy before and after the session so that your client can have the best transformation possible. Click down below to get access to the masterclass and the workbook before it goes away. I was, I was a little angry that I'd never been taught this before. Mm. Yeah. And I thought there's so many years that I've had to go through it. And so in, in the personal side of things, you know, I, I talk with other young women who've experienced something similar to me or they're young moms. I was a young mom or single moms, right? Like I can relate to all these things and I can show them that I'm no different than them. I'm just a little further down the line and I can tell them about these things. I can teach them about our thought patterns. I teach them EFT tapping like all the time. And that just for me is a really beautiful way to be able to give back to others um, in a way that I could have really benefited from that so many years earlier. Um, But it's just not talked about or it's not considered mainstream, I guess. And uh, there's just so much value in it all around. Mm -hmm. I totally resonate with you. And I felt the same way. Like, how did I go through my whole life? And I've never heard of this concept until I was sitting in my own certification training. Like it could have helped me through so many tough times that I had gone through my life, understanding myself better. And then also understanding when other people do things, it's from their own limited model of the world too, right? Because sometimes when other people would do things to me, I would make it mean something about me and I held on to shame and embarrassment and and that type of thing. And it just gives you, like, it lets you kind of stand back and look at situations from a completely different perspective. And, you know, everyone's different. The emotions that we go through and the emotions that we release are different. But um, some of our students say that these techniques will help them release shame, help them release guilt, help them forgive if that's, you know, something that they need in the moment. Like it helps them move through things in ways that they never knew was even possible for them. And then on the other side of that is so much freedom. Oh, it's, it's an indescribable freedom. Um, it allowed me to humanize other people that, I was I had kind of learned through like my conditioning growing up to villainize people, mm-hmm. right? Which really kept me in victim mode. And oh, and I was deeply rooted in victim mode. Like I was, you know, both feet in and everything was happening to me and it was unfair and it wasn't my fault. And it allowed me to, like you said, forgive, um, but also to v- meet people where they're at and allow them to be. Yeah. So it wasn't that I needed them to be like me or change or whatever. I can see and empathize with people and connect with people in a very different way um, because I can allow them to be them and I can allow me to be me with my boundaries and, and you know, my standards and things like that. Um, yeah, it really removed me from being a very reactive person to um, responding and also being able to not respond when it's not Mm -hmm. necessary. Like it's not that fight or flight where you got me, I'll get you like just constantly putting the armor on this. Let me actually take armor off and allow people in more deeply 
um, than I really was for a long, long time. Oh my gosh. I love that. That is so huge. Um, I'm feeling like I, instead of just asking you questions, I feel like you have so much to say. I'm just getting this sense. So I'm just going to let you like go for it. Like, tell me about your journey. Once you started to integrate these tools, what were some of the changes that you, you saw in your life? In your oh my gosh. Um, money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> like, let's just go there. Yeah. Um, no, like happiness. That was where like this building a relationship with myself has been so phenomenal because I went from no self-worth to, I love who I am. Like I love who I am. That's the big and, thing. uh, and so being able to, you know, look back on situations and learn from it and grow from it without carrying that shame or being embarrassed about it or, you know, sharing with people that, you know, I had food insecurity. I was a single mom of two kids. I wasn't sure, like, you know, my kids, if I ate breakfast, then I didn't eat lunch at work. And I, at lunchtime, I would go out and say I had to run errands um, so people wouldn't notice um, so that my kids had everything they needed. And then I'd swap it out, right? And so kind of all those things that you hid and like felt shame around, it was, I was able to do the inner work um, and to understand myself, understand energy, understand being um, in a way that now I'm like, I pay for my daughter's college out of my checking account and I don't even think about it. That's right. Like it's like, it's not even a like it's, yeah, she's in her third year and it's like, I just pay it. Right. I have my dream vehicle. There's that, which is my BMW X5. Yeah. <laughs> There's no payment. Right. Like it's like I own it. And so things that it was really this shift of. And people say like it takes a really long time to get there. And that's a lie. Mm -hmm. um, I, I was, you know, rooted in this. You have to struggle. You have to work hard for something. If you didn't work hard for it, you didn't earn it or deserve it. And it really allowed me to lean more into life and being and play and joy and chasing my dreams and the things that I desire materializing because I was open and willing from having done this work. I was meeting those things and, and really moved out of that, um, out of that victim mode. Um, I don't know if I told you this before or not, but it was, um, my daughter had full spinal fusion surgery and, I uh, and it was major and she's had mm -hmm. other challenges around like she's deaf, completely deaf in one ear, uh, significant hearing loss in the other. She has vision challenges, um, you know, diagnosed with autism, like just a number of different challenges and really experienced a lot of bullying through school. And it was during her recovery. Um, and she was about a year and a half in through her recovery. And she was looking at my Wonder Woman picture where I'd done this photo shoot of me as Wonder Woman. And, uh, and I did that specifically to show other women that Wonder Woman isn't a person, she's a mindset inside of us and she exists within all of us, no matter where we started from. And my daughter was sitting there and, and she was saying, she's like, mom, I wouldn't love myself the way that I do with all of these challenges if you didn't teach me that. Wow. And it was that right there was like, okay, all the crap, all the hard stuff, all the whatever, right there, it was like worth it, right? And that's the impact of the work, right? It was when I decided to really dive into the work, it was, um, and before I had met you, it was, I picked her up from school one day and she was uh, crying on the way home. And she was seven years old. She's this tiny little sweet pea, just a little bit of a thing. We get home and we're in the kitchen and, you know, I asked her what happened in her squeaky little voice, right? And she's like, mama, I hate myself because my ears are broken. 
Oh my God. And there I say to people, right? Like if you're a parent, you're just like, I say, I felt rage, like, like incredible Hulk rage. And people were like, what? Like you were mad at these kids. No, I felt rage because this perfect little being was saying the same thing that I was saying about myself. And it said for years, I'm unworthy because I'm damaged. And that's where I decided that was the catalyst. I said, I will dismantle and do anything I need to do to fix and heal myself. So my children don't grow up feeling that way. And they did. I, I dismantled myself, my life, my world, you know, my relationship, like everything. And so in that moment, when she said that to me, it was just like, wow, yeah, that is why we do this work. And in the impacts from her, she's, she's a 21 year old young woman now who has confidence and standards and, you know, it is empowering herself through challenges. And that's the ripple out, right? That's, that we don't realize how deep the ripple out is really. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. I have chills and I'm like close to tears as you're sharing that. Yeah. Story. And thank you for being so open and vulnerable with all that. And I remember um, you saying too, like as you were joining the money mindset mastermind, you were coming in saying, I'm ready to shift some big beliefs because I want these new beliefs to pass down to our children. And we both know we can tell our children, yeah, believe in yourself, da, 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 but they're going to model us. So we have to like model it for yeah. ourselves. We have to become ourselves. And so now on the other side of it, you haven't gone through the money mindset mastermind. And now you're telling me, oh yeah, I paid for a college. Like it was kind of like buying a pack of gum at the grocery store. Like I'm now I'm driving my dream BMW. Like yeah. that just makes me so happy. Not because of the like money or physical tangible things. It's about like you are creating the life that you know you want and you know you deserve and you know your child yeah. deserves to be able to go to school like yeah. stress free and get an education and you know, have the things that she wants for her life too. That's so amazing. Yeah. And I, I really grew up thinking that because I liked expensive bougie things, cause I do, <laughs> <laughs> I own that now. I'm like, that's what one, one of my but students once said, I didn't choose the bougie life. The bougie life chose me. And I'm like, yeah, like that's, we need to exactly. get as a sticker to our money mindset well, lines or something. Yeah. And I'd, I'd have to say, I didn't choose the Prada. Prada chose me. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just this, you know, like if I liked really expensive things, it was somehow bad or greedy. Yeah. And, uh, and so I just, I had this fear in around that if I had abundance that people would think I was greedy or taking or whatever. And, and you really helped me to shatter that. Um, because when I joined the money mastermind, I was stressed about, the investment, but I knew I had to do it. Um, and I always say the greatest investment you will ever make is one in yourself. Yeah. Um, it's the greatest ROI. And I did it scared and it was a stretch. And, um, you know, I kind of did the gulp, <laughs> right? And it's the greatest thing because we have to put ourselves in the room and in spaces with people who are where we want to go but who have the knowledge and the ability to help guide us there because we, we can't, we, we can't break free around people that can't see that dream or that vision, right? Yes. We have to step out into another place and it's, it's discomfort. And I really learned that like staying rooted in that mindset was discomfort. So was making the commitment to, even just be willing to consider it could be different. And, you know, thinking about, oh my gosh, you know, like when I started my business, oh, well, like 5K month will be great. 10K month will be great. When I get to that 10K month, I've made it. And now I'm like, I love a 10K month. I don't, yeah, I'm not attached to money with my worth in any way or in any success with my business. But I'm like, 10k that's why I pay for my husband and I to go on vacation for a week yeah right like it's I was able to fly him this year for first class for the first time and you know like just and him being a person of color and the only person of color in that first class cabin 
right? In the pods. And so big for me, big for him, right? Like generationally, we are just changing so much. Yes. Um, by breaking through that and and the and the representation behind it. Yes, 100%. Like you're breaking generational patterns in so many different ways by just giving yourself permission to like have that level of abundance and enjoy different things. Yeah. And and I know sometimes you'll message me saying, oh, Reese, by the way, I just had a 30K month. So yeah, it's like (laughs) 10K is like, oh, that's just a vacation. (laughs) So I have one month in my business where I actually made what my former annual corporate salary was. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. Six figures. Six figures. Oh, congratulations to you. And I was at my mom's, literally my assistant called me and I was like screaming and running down the hallway and like jumping up and down on the bed. And, uh, and normally it was like, don't jump on the bed. And all I could think was, I don't care if I break it, I can buy another one. <laughs> right? Like it was oh my just, gosh. like, it didn't matter. And it was just this, um, you know, pride and not this sense of like, oh, I have to do that every month. Um, but it was also not this, I can't do that every month. Or what if I don't do that again or whatever? Like it's, it's really neutralized it, um, to be able to live a life that I'm wildly in love with for me, that works for me and release that judgment from other people. Right. Not worry about, like right now I live in a different city than my husband and people are like, what, why would you do that? Well, his work is there. My work can be anywhere and I want to be by the water. That's where I'm happiest. That's where I'm most creative. That's where I'm most alive and full of joy. And I'm in a space in my life where I can do that. Mm -hmm. So I'm over here and we're looking at properties here and what's that going to look like? And will I buy a place next year? What's it going to be? So it, it just opened up so much where it, I don't have to be that traditional, like society dicks, dictates this is success and that's how you have to live and that, you know, trudging through, getting through the day, you know, and that grind. Life gets to be really alive. Yes. Oh my gosh. A hundred percent. And you don't have to follow societal rules. You get to create your own rules. You get to create your own timeline. Yeah, I said I'm like the timeline's a lie. Yes, <laughs> right. hundred percent. It's a lie. Right. You know, I had a client who she was complaining because she doesn't do a million dollars a year in her business in like in 12 months, but she does it consistently in 14 months. Mm-hmm. And she's like, but I'm I'm not successful because I'm not hitting it in a year. Who said that the only exactly. way you could be successful was with if it was in 12 months, right? Like it's, I'm like, you're doing this repeatedly while not burning out and having a great work-life balance. And you're able to have slow mornings with your kids and get them off to school. You have really engaged employees that are happy. How can you think that any of that is not success? And so it's, mm-hmm. Yeah, I've translated a lot of what I've learned in through the like the Yes Supply method into my coaching and into working with, um, you know, women business owners. And people say like, oh, you don't want to work with men. I work with men when they are striving to create a more inclusive environment. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, yeah, I really do want to focus on empowering women to get past the the belief that, oh, money is difficult and so only a man can take care of it or I could never have that or be able to create that financial independence in a way that allows them choice Mm -hmm. and allows them um, ease of mind. and to be able to be present in the places that really matter the most to them mm-hmm. in the most impactful way. Mm-hmm. It's so funny how we attract into our communities who we attract because I only like almost only attract women. There are a few men here and there and and 
it's just like sometimes your energy just brings certain people in. And for you too, you have so much experience that like women have gone through like in your teenage years, being a single mom, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm sure so many women, they want the coaching and the tools and the techniques, but they also want to hear about your lived experience and what you specifically did to move through that. So I think it is important to honor like you can be like a generalist, but if you feel like you can excel for yourself and you can excel for your clients yeah. as a specialist in a certain area, why don't you just show up and say like, this is, this is where I can perform best for you and you can make the most of your investment and yeah, let you do what you yeah. best. A hundred percent. Like I have a really, really strategic mind. Um, and I'm hella good at leadership development, right? Yeah. Like, like people development and, always have been able to connect and build like relationships. And this work has made it so much more impactful. Like I, it's, it's not something that, you know, most people say, Oh, I'm an, I'm an executive coach and, and we do a lot of NLP practicing in it. And they're like, what? Right. <laughs> it's, but when we look at it, um, I can give you strategy. I can yeah. give a business owner strategy. I can, Put that in place for them. But if their mindset is saying, oh, I don't know if I can do it, or they are holding back from speaking up in, in a meeting setting, um, it doesn't matter those other pieces that I put into place. And it's not, um, it's not something that you consistently see, but it's become such a big component in my coaching models because that is where the true shifts work. Identifying, you know, what we want to have, do, and be. Yes. Right. And what are our values? What are our belief systems? Where were they created? What did we experience growing up and how that shaped it? And it's it's an interesting um aspect even for me, because I say my two children who are five years apart, um, my son being my oldest child, got different versions of me as a mom in their mm -hmm. early years, right? My son got the very wounded version of me, the very unhealed, um, unworthy feeling version of me. Mm -hmm. And my daughter got a more healed version of me. Right. And so when you think about those first seven years and what their experiences were in those seven years, they were vastly different. And and so it's looking at how, even though I'm their same mom, how those experiences have impacted things. Well, that's the same for us in our careers. That's the same for us when we go into a, a start a business or a leadership meeting or take your your um, certification and then think, Oh, well, I couldn't be, you know, a coach, right? You know, little girls from the county, they don't do that, right? And so really recognizing how much that thinking is playing into um, how we show up as leaders and how we show up in our businesses. Once we start to really shift that in the leaders and you're able to see it in your team and in your people, you develop them in a really authentic way that drives high performance in, yes. in a way like no other. Yes. Oh my gosh. I totally agree with that. That was a huge shift I saw when I started to learn about the subconscious. Cause before I, I was just telling people like what I did or giving them advice. But then once I learned about all this, I could empower the person from the inside out they didn't need my advice. They didn't need my little step-by-step -step protocol. They were the most empowered version of themselves and trusting their inner like intuition that they're like, oh, I got this idea. I got this download. I'm going to take action on this. And that's what we really need. It's not always about like the charts and the, the templates. It's actually about like, who are you being and that who you're being will attract the success. So I'd love to hear. So you've like, follow the step-by-step -step protocol of the yes supply method so perfectly you decided what it was that you wanted you stepped into your identity you shed the past beliefs and the you know the a lot of things around the hardships that you've gone through and stepped into this 
beautiful, empowered, creative version of you. And then you also took the inspired action. You built this incredible business. So I'm sure a lot of people listening are going to be listening to you and hearing all the things that you've gone through. And you're such a warrior woman. And now you've created all this abundance. So tell us a little bit about your executive coaching business and and how you're using the tools and your programs and everything like that. It's a little inside scoop. Yes. So um, I use it. I use it in different ways. And I also say to people, I'm very open. Like I don't have this. There's more than enough for all of us. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, there was someone who was really trying to replicate me to the point of like dying their hair like mine and everything. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I've made it. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, it's you know, it's, I'm very open about these things because I think we each bring our own kind of flair to it and our own experience behind it and those types of things. But yeah, it's, I really, um, started out very much with, you know, my business had to be like Monday to Friday, nine to five. Like if you wanted it to be people to think you were serious and then I'm like, well, that doesn't work for me. Yeah. Um, and being able to create time freedom, but it's a lot of what I do, whether I'm working with people one-on-one, like you said, really helping them to uncover what's standing in their way. Um, and it, in, it inevitably goes back to things from the past, um, comments that people said or things that they heard or experienced growing up. Once they are able to kind of release that, they see themselves really catapult forward and then they hit the next level devil, right? They start to get into this, like, and I do too. Um, but it was that learning to be able to trust your intuition, especially as women, to not block that, but to be able to tap into that because it is a superpower that we have. Um learning to just trust it was key. Making decisions that didn't look typical to the corporate world were key. And a lot of women um, that come to me to really work with them want me to help them to shift their business model or shift themselves from being in the day-to-day weeds to being in that CEO role um, because they see a lifestyle freedom that I have, um, not that they want the exact same thing as me, right? It's not that, you know, I can fly on a trip and go sit out in the sun and be under palm trees. And it doesn't mean that that's what other people have to want, but the ability to create the model in a way that really works for them. And that can shift as you go through stages in life. And so it's really interesting to me because I either have them reach out to me because they're like, I know my mindset is whack (laughs) or they're like, I want the strategy. It's only strategy that hard masculine, right? Like that can get me there. And as soon as we start into it, I can introduce those tools in, in a way um, that maybe if I said right at the start, well, I'm a lover of all things woo. And here we go. They're like, Ooh, not for me. I just want strategy. And There's ways to be able to, whether it's like questioning, I use a lot of single belief change, Mm -hmm. a lot of single belief change. Um, I do the breakthrough days um, where really we work through the mindset pieces of it. Then we start to create the goal of what they want. Um, And I do it over multiple days for this part of it, but the goal of what they want and then we we identify the goal, then we create the identity and we do the imprint of the identity work. And then the third part is really the strategy. So yes. strategy for me now is last. Yes. Although some people will come in with it first, but through the conversation, I'm able to shift it into that. But it's, it's also not being afraid of opening that conversation because I've had some people say, no, I'm not interested in that. Great. Two months later, they're like, okay, you know, and what we've been working through, they're now ready to, right? So it's, it's again, being able to meet people where they're at um, and to really let your gifts shine. Like I do share very openly my story and I do share very openly challenges that I've had and 
right now I'm sharing about the decision to move to a different place than where my husband lives and how that does not look traditional. And, you know, all the DMs of, are you two getting divorced? No, we're better than ever. (laughs) Um, And we've created something that allows both of us to chase our goals and dreams right now um, in a really nurturing way. And people are really following along because it's like, okay, I drove over here and unpacked everything. And this feels a little weird. And those moments of, am I doing the right thing? Am I not? And that's where we have to tap back into that intuition and what lights us up and know that my journey doesn't have to look like another traditional one. Um, It just has to look like what's right for me. A hundred percent. I love that. It sounds almost like you're writing a book, but it's through your post. People are kind of just following the book reading page by page as you're sharing the next step in your journey. Yeah. And I think it's really important to share, be, be authentic, right? Like, you know, I, people tell me, don't ever share about your trauma because, Ooh, no one will take you seriously. Um, or that you were a single mom or whatever. Right. Like it was, and I'm like, well, no, because it's, that just breeds more like shame to people. Right. And there are people can unfollow me and I'm not hurt about that. Right. Um, Maybe you're with me for a season and you've gotten what you've needed. Beautiful. Um, But I think that me being able to share has um, the number of people that have either in person or um, in through messages reached out to me and said, you know, you're inspiring me to be able to think of maybe something bigger or something different. It doesn't have to be as drastic a leap as I seem to like to do, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> yeah, like sharing that journey, we do not have to be perfect, right? Like that sense that people won't want to work with me or won't think I'm qualified or you know, like won't think I'd take my business seriously if I'm walking down by the water at two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, You just, it's really share those pieces because you just have no idea. Even in you sharing your story is really how I was able to connect with you as well, to be able to relate on different pieces and aspects. And it's that connection piece Um, that you will really find those people that align to you. And it can feel really, really uncomfortable when you're first starting out, especially because we're looking for the likes. (laughs) We're looking for the validation. Um, And so I've really shifted that to be a check-in with myself and, and a validation with myself and am I living authentically to me, regardless of what, you know, a family member around me or a friend or a stranger seems to think about it? Um, Am I showing up for me in the way that I believe I can have an impact in this world and through sharing my story and what I'm going through? And I think, especially since the pandemic, um, we crave real. Yeah. We, we crave relationship. We crave that connection. And, uh, and so it was for me working through, like, is it safe for me to do this? Um, having gone into that fight or flight before, um, of will people attack me? Will people try to use it against me? Mm -hmm. And while those are real, um, concerns that could happen, it's, the tools like tapping, anchoring. Um, I would rather go on a stage in front of 500 people and not know what I'm going to talk about than pick up my phone and go on Instagram live. Right? Like it's just because I'm used to being on a stage or whatever I can engage in with people. Um, So anchoring, right? Like I tap on that anchor. And actually a little tip is my abundance anchor is right here. Uh huh. On my hand, mine's here, and it always hits when I'm driving, because I love to drive, and so I and I do a fair bit of driving. So I'm driving my dream vehicle, luxury vehicle, hitting that abundance anchor. Often doing three, four hour drives, 
And let me tell you the creativity that comes and, you know, in those spaces is like tap into those things and know that there's others when you hit that anchor that are building you up under that too, right? You know, I'm doing the same thing, right? It's, it's, uh, it's really using those tools and uh, stepping into the world and, and sharing your gift in the way that you want to because the world needs it. Mm -hmm. I totally agree. You are such an inspiration. That's amazing. <laughs> um, and so you're sharing your story. You're sharing all the things that you're you're going through. I'm curious, which uh, platforms are you currently using to share and how are your clients finding you? So Instagram, um, I share tips and tricks on Instagram and I share a lot of behind the scenes of what I'm doing. Um, I just bought paint yesterday and be painting my new space, okay. right? Like, I mean, all excited, create my little creative nest. Um, but uh, yeah, Instagram is where, you know, a lot of people like follow me and engage in. And I love to chat. Like I love ask questions and, you know, I'm so happy to share. And LinkedIn is really where I share a lot more of the business pieces, like the coaching pieces, the strategy pieces. But I also bring a flair of myself into that too. Um, That's important. Because I am like, I'm quirky. I love flamingos, right? Like, you know, all of these things. So I still bring my personality into it. And I think one of the greatest compliments I met, I got at an event was a person came up to me who had been following me on Instagram and she said, and first of all, it was super cool for someone to be like, I follow you on Instagram. Yeah. And, uh, and she's like, you're the same in person. That's good. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, and that's really because I was able to build this strong relationship with myself to be able to show up authentically for me with my exactly. voice. And, and yeah, sorry, go ahead. I think I was going to cut you off. No, that was it. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. That's so incredible. And, um, I think that's how you create a business that it doesn't feel like work. It just feels like you being you because you're starting from that place. I think, Sometimes people are looking for like, what's the template or, or the script or whatever. And actually, if you just share like, I'm going to get paint to paint my new room in my house or, or whatever it is, that yeah. is what's going to allow you to attract the people who they're not looking for you to be different than who you are as their coach or their course creator or whatever. It's like they need what you have to bring. Um, and you can yeah. only do that by just sharing authentically. Yeah. And just starting, right? Like my business has morphed and grown over the years. And, and so allow yourself to go on that journey. Like just as you will grow and shift, so will your business and you can, you know, completely pivot. You can ad adopt something entirely new. You can, you know, build a, a brand and build a following and, but it's just that starting and allowing it to be okay for you to carry on into something else. Yes, 100%, 100%. Even though it feels uh, scary. <laughs> yes, of course. And then you realize, oh, I could, I could do it. I could do it all along. So you've gone through the practitioner level certification, the master certification, yep. and the money mindset mastermind. So you're like a master of all of our programs, which is amazing. Yep. Um, did you start your coaching after you joined the Yes Supply Method? Or were you already? No, I before? started it before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was coaching before and um and I was having success in it. Um, but it was very masculine, very just strategic. And the tools in through um the yes supply method really allowed me to increase the people impact. Um, and work more with teams and really develop and grow that. And the, the uh, money mastermind, like I tripled my rates. Good for you. Like That's I was, amazing. I was charging like so low and thinking just, oh, I'm lucky if this and uh, and or the thing of, well, I just started my business or I'm just offering this, you know, product or service now. But I have over 15 years, like coming on 20 years of like 
strategy work behind me, right? So it's, uh, yeah, it really allowed me to enjoy the work that I'm doing more, have greater impact, but also really dive in these tools. And what I've found in adding in these different tools is I'm creating spaces where women come together and we're having these deep conversations. I have the Next Level You Collective and we have deep conversations. It's not just about the business. It's about our life experience in it and all of the things that we're going through. And it's community in a way that we're able to really grow from one another but also be supported in in our own growth moments that can be really uncomfortable and uh and so that's been really beautiful to be able to create a space like that oh my gosh that's so beautiful it's so beautiful to see this like ripple effect of like you've made these shifts in your own life and now you're going on to help these other women in your collective yeah. And I love to hear that you in the money mindset mastermind, you tripled your rates too, because yeah, so often we're the ones telling ourselves no, and we're not seeing our worthiness or the value that we can bring into the world. And I believe, you know, for someone to know how their subconscious mind works and how to shift their energy and their emotions at any moment so that they could do anything that they want, that is priceless. Like that's like, 200,000, that's like a million dollars, right? So then the fact that yeah. if you're offering a coaching, that's like 5,000, 10,000, that's a steal compared to how much it's actually going to impact their life. Yeah. Yeah, wow. absolutely. And it was, and it wasn't that, you know, people said, well, you're going to see a dip and stuff like that. And I started to at first when I changed my prices and they thought, when did I decide that they were right, that I was going to have a dip? Like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. And uh, and I thought, I'm just going to talk to those people. And it was like three days after that, I had someone sign on at the highest rate I had ever charged. No questions, because I decided that that's what my client does. Yes. And, and I speak to that. And yeah, so... Um, when did I decide that? Or when did you decide that is a question I ask daily. It's a um, question. It is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Amazing. Well, Cheryl, thank you so much for coming on here and sharing all of your life experience. You have been through so much in your life and I resonate and connect with so many parts of your story too. So when I hear and see how you've overcome so much and created all this abundance on the other side, again, I just connect with it and I like see that in like, it's like a win for me too. So, um, yeah. thank you for sharing and being so vulnerable today. And I'm sure a lot of people who are listening to this want to like keep following you online. So can you share what your, um, social media handles are? Yeah, for sure. It's at key element solutions and on LinkedIn, it's Cheryl Hamburg. And okay. you'll know it's me because it's bright red hair. This is so. a beautiful red hair. Okay. Well, thank you so much. And you and I will continue to be in touch. And thank you for sharing your story and all your growth. Sounds good. Okay. Bye. Bye. Welcome to the Yes Supply Method Coach and Practitioner Certification. My name is Reese. I'm the founder of Yes Supply, and I'm so excited to be here with you. One of the things I always think about is how incredible would the world be if there was a coach in every single household? Imagine every single person had someone to talk to who could empower them, who could uplift them, who could help them see an incredible future for themselves. And if we had that coach, that support system in every household, every workplace, in all of our friend groups, how much different would the world be? How much would we be innovating, getting outside of our comfort zone and seeing what's possible for us. I'm so excited that you're here because my Yes Supply Method coaching certification program has proven methods to support you, the people in your life, and your future clients in creating the life of their dreams. We take a trauma-sensitive, evidence-based, and inclusive support to coaching 
as well as a unique blend of science and spirituality to support you in creating your yes life. This program is perfect for you if you're brand new to the coaching world and you want to make sure that you get started on the right foot and get everything that you need to be successful. And it's also perfect for you if you're an experienced coach, but you want to have more tools in your toolkit. You want to get a real understanding of the subconscious mind and you want to be able to help your clients in any situation regardless of your past experience. Maybe you're thinking of joining the Yes Supply Method because people are always coming to you for advice and you love giving people support. Maybe you're somebody who's in love with wellness and mindset tools and you want to break out of the basic mindset tools and go so much deeper. Maybe you want to add more to your own personal development practices and then share them with the world. Whatever it is, I know that you're going to love the Yes Supply Method and all the support that you get inside. By the time you graduate from the Yes Supply Method, you will be graduating with five incredible certifications. The first one is Neural Energetic Wiring. And what this does is it supports you in integrating all of our amazing tools and layering it over a proven five-step manifestation process to help you and your clients get clear on their goals, the habits that it takes to create the life of your dreams, releasing what's no longer serving serving you and moving forward in an expectant energy using the law of assumption. You'll also gain certification in neural energetic encoding. What neural energetic encoding does is it helps you identify any uncomfortable emotions or limiting beliefs that might be holding you or your clients back and get to the root cause of whatever created it so that you can fully release it and move forward with your life. It also is based on epigenetics as there are studies that share that we may hold on to trauma from up to 14 previous generations. And so with this technique, it helps us release what may have happened in our own lifetime, as well as potentially in previous lifetimes or generations as well that has been stored in our DNA. You'll also learn how to practice the tool of hypnosis that you can identify scripts, patterns, and paradigms that will support the programs to create a better life and also how to shift into a deeper brainwave state so you can install these new programs and start living the life of your dreams with better habits, better ways of looking at the world and a new approach to everything that you do. You'll also receive certification in emotional freedom techniques, which is an incredible energetic tool that works with the brain to help you release and desensitize any emotions that are not supporting you, pains, aches, feelings, thought processes, whatever it is. And what it does is it interacts with the amygdala to remind you and let you know that you're safe so you can move forward and do anything that you might have been previously anxious or nervous about with ease. And next, you'll also be certified as a mindset coach. So you'll be able to combine all of these tools in a coaching setting, knowing how to practice presence with clients, active listening, powerful coaching to help people get to the root cause of whatever is not supporting them and also support them in creating the goals of the life that they want to achieve. You can learn more about each of these certifications below, but essentially you're going to be well-practiced in energetic and subconscious tools that get to the root of the issue and help people completely transform every single thing about themselves. Feel free to look at the information below or the brochure to get deeper on each of these modalities. The cohorts are perfect for you if you want to show up at the same time every single week with the same group and get that added accountability as you move through the Yes Supply Method program. As you move through the cohort, you'll see the same trainer every single week where you'll have time to watch the videos in between calls, do any homework or preparation, and then show up to the calls where you actually get to practice coaching in a live setting. So you'll be showing up to a live call with other coaches where you'll be able to practice the techniques with someone else and get real live coaching experience, as well as show up with something that you might be working through and get coached in the moment to help you fully empower yourself. We have regular live calls where you'll feel so supported, where you can have discussions, ask additional questions, practice in smaller coaching segments, and also get access to hot seat coaching for whatever it is that you're working through. And it doesn't stop there. Up till now, I've talked about you becoming an incredible coach with all of these amazing tools. And you might also be asking, will I get business support? So after graduating, you get access to a bunch of additional business support. You get access to a program that walks you through how to create your signature program, how to create a sales page, how to run discovery calls, how to create offers, how to build out everything, 
how to show up and share your powerful story as the coach that you want to be in your marketing and so much more. You'll also get access to regular business mastery calls with me and my team where you'll be able to show up and ask specific questions about business so you can get tailored support with whatever you're working through. We have additional bonuses on social media as well as creating abundance. So all of these bonuses are going to help you attract your dream clients, make sure that you have an incredible offer to share with them, become confident with speaking about whatever it is that you want to do and show up as the coach that you know that you want to be. You have access to 18 months of live incredible support. So even after graduation, you can come in and get help with your techniques, with working in your coaching business, and also the business and marketing aspects of everything, as well as you get lifetime access to the pre-recorded content. If this resonates with you and you want to join us inside the Yes Supply Method, I would love to see you inside. We have so many incredible success stories of people who have taken the Yes Supply Method and it's absolutely changed their life, their business, the way that they look at the world and what they do for a living. If this resonates with you, then you can keep reading below and sign up below. And you can also book a call with a member of our team to ask your specific questions and learn more. Thank you so much. It's been so great getting to know you and I can't wait to see you inside the Yes Supply Method.